take a look at a yummy word problem today. After one customer buys six cookies, a bakery has 54 cookies left. After another customer buys six more cookies, the bakery has 48 cookies left to sell. So we want to write a rule to represent the number of cookies in the bakery. That's very important. We are not writing a rule for how many cookies were sold. So we want to write a rule to represent the number of cookies the bakery has left. And then we want to know how many cookies are left to sell after six customers buy cookies. So let's make a table first. We were told that the, when one customer came in, there were 54 cookies left. After two customers, we were told there were 48 cookies left. So you can see I'm writing my chart based on the number of cookies that are left. So what is the pattern? Well, every time a customer comes, six cookies go out the door. But I want to be really careful because I have to think, is that adding six cookies or is that subtracting six cookies? You're right, it's subtracting six cookies. So now we can write our equation. I want you to think about the subtracting six cookies. Look at where it shows up in my equation. I have negative six, negative, because we're subtracting, and it's being multiplied times x. That's important. Then I want you to notice that we have this plus b. Now some of you may be thinking, oh, I know what that is. That's the y equals mx plus b form. And that's great. But even if you're not thinking that, that's okay. I want you to think of this b as a bonus amount. And we're just going to find that bonus amount to finish our equation. Now, we will choose an x and a y coordinate from our table to use in our equation. Let me show you what I mean by this. I'm going to take 1 for x and 54 for y. And I'm going to plug them into my equation that I have here. That's going to look like 54 equals negative 6 times 1 plus that bonus amount. So you'll notice I put in 54 in place of y, and I put in 1 in place of x. Now let's see if we can figure out what that bonus amount is. I need to add 6 to both sides so that my bonus amount is 60. Now friends, I can finish this equation up by putting my bonus amount into the equation, and I get y equals a negative 6x plus 60 for my equation here. Now it's going to be really simple to find out how many cookies are left after six customers. This is where I get to plug in six for x, and I end up with 24 cookies left to sell.